All right. Uh, during the break here, I renamed my layers here for our blue line and our green line. And then also blue line and green line on the right side. Uh, we can go ahead and merge these together. Not both sides, but uh, the left side ones. We're going to merge these layers. Makes it one layer. Makes it a lot easier to cut. And do the same thing for the other side here, the right side. Merge layers. If you hadn't renamed them, it's fine. You don't have to, but just make sure. I like to click the view on and off to make sure I got the right thing. Make sure I'm clicking on the right thing. Or I'm about to remove the right thing. All right. On the left side of Alaska, you see there's a slight gap between the lines and the start of the uh, the long line of the uh, A for Alaska, and then the same same size gap at the end of the little a between the lines. They're all canted, uh, skewed backwards uh, in line with the text. So we can mimic that. We're going to take our polygonal selection tool here uh, and we get about the right width away. Left click. You don't have to hold down. Just left click and uh, left click again. Make sure we get that right width. There we go. And we're going to basically just keep clicking and box this out there we go now go back to our selection so we can move this back and forth if we need to um, looks pretty close right about there um, so make sure we're on our left lines here hit delete gets rid of that text or that line go ahead and do the same thing for this side get the the angle down and uh, we can bring a little bit closer in actually that's not that's not lean, uh, skewed enough there it should be about like that there we go so we'll go ahead and, and get that gap in there uh oh I hear a child crying thank god my daughter's here we'll give it another second make sure she can <laughs> Quit the crying. If not, I'll have to uh, pause this part. Sounds like the problem has been solved. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, children—they're expensive pets, people. All right, so we got our cut in. Uh, let's go ahead and do it for the other side. Uh -huh. Oh, we don't want to get into the gray. It's going to screw it up. I forgot the gray is part of our layer here. Hey, wow, that clicked itself there. Uh, delete. Go over here. Do the other side. And bring it over a little bit and delete. Okay. Our lines are cut both sides. Good deal. Next, we are going to focus on the registration, the flag, and some text they have on the nose of the aircraft. And then we're going to clean up the back edge here so it doesn't get into our winglets or anything like that. Other parts it doesn't need to touch. So we're going to do the uh, registration here. Uh, registration has to be the blue color. So we'll go ahead and set our color before we ever click on it. And we'll go ahead and I think it starts one, two, three, four windows back. One, two, three, four windows back. It's going to be too small, but that's okay. And 624AS. Let's go ahead and click that. Even though it's small, don't worry about it. We're going to change it over here with our tools. It's a lot easier to do it that way. In 624AS, I had to make double check, make sure we had the right registration. Uh, once again, like I said, I've already painted this once. I know this has to be size 30. The uh, spacing between the letters, that's what this AV means, is 120. You can That's a trial and error type deal. Um, Arial bold, 30 point. Colors correct. Good. One, two, three, four windows in, and it should should line up with the back of this. So, and we'll get the up and down spacing almost almost halfway between the green line and the bottom of the windows, but a little bit closer to the windows. All right. 
Same thing for the other side. We're going to duplicate it. Oh, I didn't mean to rasterize it. We're going to duplicate our layer. Move it up. Rotate it 180. And get the spacing just below that line there. I'm going to eyeball this. There, that looks pretty good. And now we're going to go ahead and do the flag. I'm going to open my flag up. Control A, copy. And we're going to paste it in. And it is going to be just off the back door here. And uh, lined up half a little more than halfway between of the width of the flag. So just off the back door. Let's flip back and forth. You know, you need just a lot of this you just eyeball. I'm thinking we might have to remove a window here. Or we'll count them in a little bit. I'll have to check. Alright, so we got that. I'm going to line it up with the top of this ring guide that will help us paste it in on the other side. Duplicate layer. And we're just going to flip this one vertical. Because US flags. Uh, always remember the uh, blue part, the union, is always facing towards the nose. There we go. Alright. So we got that done. So glad we selected such an easy paint. Uh, on the nose of the aircraft, there's a Boeing logo, and then underneath it, it has the text that says, Proudly All Boeing. And, uh, hang on. It says, Proudly All Boeing underneath it, in the same aerial font. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this Boeing logo in place. You need to figure out your spacing. It's going to be from the front of this window here. To just past the start of the same, the third window here. So once again, like I told you, I always select that base. Make sure I don't move anything I'm not supposed to move. Can't really see the windows there. I'm just gonna guess at it about right there to right there. Control C to copy. Control D to deselect. File new. 157 pixels is how wide our logo needs to be. So I'll open my little Boeing logo I have. 157 pixels. Hit OK. Control A. Copy. And paste it in here. Make sure we get this lined up where it's supposed to be. There's that point of that window there, just past the other. All right, now the up and down spacing is just below the pitot tube. Here's your pitot tube. So right about there. Uh, the color is supposed to be the same color as Alaska blue. So we'll double click it, color overlay. I think I still have Alaska blue selected. No, I don't. So. I need to leave that color loaded right there. I think it might be, but it looks black to me. No, it was right. Okay, so ignore all that. You can just paint color, select it right there. There we go. And then we'll type in proudly all Boeing. Uh, that needs to be only slightly longer. It starts at the edge of the Boeing font but goes slightly longer than the text itself. So maybe maybe a five font. Yeah, that looks about right. Just below it. Right there. Perfect. And that logo is on both sides of the aircraft. So since we're not going to be editing this any further, more than likely, we can go ahead and merge these two layers together, which makes them one, see, and just duplicate it to the other side. Uh, 180. 
and slightly below the pitot tube on the other side. There we go. So we got our text. All our fuselage text is done now. Now we need to color the belly. And to do that, um, oh, I put that on the wrong. You can see I pasted those in the wrong area. So it's a good time to show you this. Um, these are pasted outside the paint here layer, so we can just select them both and drag them in there. Drag them in there. There we go. Now they're in the right spot. So we'll go ahead and uh, use our polygon select tool, and we're going to go ahead and encompass the whole belly. Not the entire thing, because I'll show you show you why in a second. We don't need those in there. We don't need these flat veins. And we don't go past the uh, lines there. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. It's a rough outline of where the gray should be. Alright, we'll go to our layer. Where was our layer at? There we go. We'll paint on this one since that's our gray. Let's paste it in there. Control D, deselect. Now, we do have a gap here we need to fix. So, all we'll do is just select that and pencil in the gray. It'll only color within our selection. Actually, that gap is already there. Okay. So, the gap's supposed to be there. All right. When we come back, I'll use my cheat lines here and uh, show you what I'm talking about. On the belly, the, there is actually a curve to where it, a curve to how it's supposed to be. So we're, we're going to extend this out a little bit more here while we still got recording going. And we'll look at the rear, looking at my cheat lines. We're good. Okay. All right. So when we come back, we're going to finish off the belly, put the registration in, 700 here. And uh, we'll put the text on the cockpit roof. And uh, we'll be ready to start pasting everything over to the aircraft. So I'll see you in just a second.